Right now, there's a lot of people worried that we're either in a recession or about to get into a recession. So what can you do as a homeowner to insulate yourself from these fears? In today's lesson, I'm going to go over some specific recession refinancing strategies that can help you weather the storm. Hey, it's Robert Weinberg, and on this channel, we empower people to take control of their future through expert mortgage and financial strategies. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about recession refinancing strategies. So really what this is all about is risk mitigation. If you see or you think that you're, we're either in a recession right now or about to enter one, then we want to lower your risk as a homeowner. And what this is going to entail is lowering your monthly payments, consolidating your debt, increasing your cash reserves, and beefing up your emergency funds in case of a layoff. So we're gonna talk about all these different strategies and how you can implement them and what they'll do. So the first one is gonna be rate and term refinancing. Now, what a rate and term refinance is, is simply either lowering your rate or extending the term or changing the term on your existing mortgage. Now, why would you wanna do this? Well, if you've been paying down a mortgage for several years, let's say you had a 30 year mortgage, you've been paying it down for 10 years. Now you have 20 years left on that mortgage. You can stretch that mortgage back out to a new 30 year loan. Why would you do that? Because you can lower your monthly payments. If we are in a recessionary period and you're gonna have a layoff or a reduction in income, then you'd wanna have as low a mortgage payment as possible to increase your cash flow. Now, the other thing is that when you're actually doing a rate and term refinance, a lot of people do it to lower their interest rate. Now, historically speaking, during recessionary times in the United States, these interest rates have gone down. The Federal Reserve supports the economy during recessionary times by buying a lot of mortgage-backed securities and lowering down the interest rate, which is exactly what's going on right now in 2020 as I'm recording this. So even if you have only been in your mortgage for a year or two, maybe you had a 4.5% or 5% interest rate when you took that mortgage out. Now the rates are down. You can save a point or two points uh, percentage-wise on your mortgage rate. That can lower your monthly payment hundreds of dollars a month. That's another really astute thing to do if you think that you may need some insulation from the coming recession. So that's one strategy. Another really popular one is debt consolidation refinancing. So again, to insulate yourself from an economic storm, you want to get those payments down as low as possible. If you've got equity built up in your home, what you want to do is do a cash out refinance, a debt consolidation refinance to roll high interest and high payment debt into your mortgage where we can go and stretch that debt out for a long period of time and lower your monthly payments overall and increase your cash flow. It's going to make it much easier should you have a job loss or reduction in income temporarily. You're going to be able to weather that storm a lot easier when that debt is gotten rid of and it's all wrapped up into your mortgage. And typically when you're doing a debt consolidation refinance, saving $500, 1000 even $2,000 a month or more is absolutely possible just depending on the amount of debt you have, the amount of equity you have, and your particular personal circumstance. Another really popular thing to do when you see a recession coming is a cash out refinance, specifically using the cash out to beef up your reserves to beef up your emergency fund and to have in savings so that if you have a job loss, if you have a temporary reduction in income, you can keep going just like nothing happened because you took that equity and separated it from your home and now it's in your bank account where you can use it to pay bills, to pay your mortgage payment, to take care of the necessities for you and your family. So that's a really common strategy you can use um, as far as recession, proof, recession proofing your uh, particular financial circumstance from a recession. Now, another huge opportunity that you have, regardless of which one of these uh, makes sense for you and that you want to implement, is depending on your lender and your particular situation, most of the time you're going to be able to defer one or two mortgage payments. So um, if you closed on a refinance, let's say during the month of April, you're not gonna have a mortgage payment due typically until June. So that's gonna give you anywhere from one to two months with no mortgage payment due whatsoever. Now it, it is still collected, but it's deferred onto the new mortgage. So it's not something you need to do now. You can always catch it up in the future and it will not affect your credit, but it's a very 
um, you know, very important thing you understand that you can have a one or two month deferral of these mortgage payments without even asking permission, just as a result of properly structuring a refinance and working with a mortgage advisor that understands how to implement these strategies. The other thing that you need to understand with doing a refinance right now is that you'll be receiving an escrow refund from most of the mortgage servicers. They'll be refunding you within 20 business days after closing for the amount that's sitting in your escrow account. Now, depending on where you live and when taxes and insurance may be due, that can be anywhere from $1,000, $1,500 on the low end up to three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on the high end. This is in addition to doing a cash out refinance or using other money that we talked about earlier for beefing up emergency funds and savings. So this can be used as a bonus to just put more money aside towards this rainy day fund, towards your emergency fund and being able to weather this recessionary storm. So I'm not here to get political. I don't know if we're in a recession or not. I'm not claiming that I know whether we are in one or about to enter one, but it's important you realize that you have these strategies available now while you're working. The biggest mistake you make is waiting to need this stuff, waiting till you get notified that you're laid off from your job, waiting to get notified that you have a reduction in income. Because at that time, if you haven't already gone through this mortgage process and closed on your loan, you may not qualify anymore. So this is something you wanna do uh, you know, at least 30 to 60 days minimum before you think you may have a problem, the sooner the better. It's better to use this strategy and move forward with this and not need it than to be laid off or have a reduction in income and have that equity sitting in your home where you can't do anything with it other than sell at that point. You don't want to be put in that uh, specific circumstance. So I hope this helps. I appreciate you watching. If it's your first time here, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, also click the bell so you get notified on all of our future content. You can always follow me on all my social media channels and feel free to reach out via call, text, or private message if I can be of assistance to you or anyone that you know. Take care.